Thank you, Paul. And uh, there are a bunch of questions uh, for you, Paul. Uh, why don't you take maybe one or two of them, and uh, then we'll move right along. Okay. Is the is the NTSA study that you mentioned at the beginning? Is that in the materials? Uh, you mean this? Yeah. What's that? This is a review. It's not a study. It's a review of existing evidence. It's a review of existing evidence that was published in 2003. Uh, I think it's a very objective review. Uh, but speaking of that, one thing I, I didn't bring up that a lot of people ask about, they say, well, what about those NHTSA studies? What are those studies in 1975 and 1985 that said you smoke marijuana, you're a safer driver than a sober driver? You put up studies that showed if you had marijuana in your system, you had a greater risk of accident. Uh, that's because I think if you smoke marijuana in those first couple hours, you have a greater risk of accident. Uh, the studies that people cite saying that people had marijuana in their system drove the same as sober drivers were, in fact, sober drivers. Uh, the methodology in those studies was flawed. They identified a marijuana-positive driver as a driver who had the inactive carboxy metabolite in their urine. And what that means is they probably were no longer under the influence of marijuana, so they were comparing sober drivers to sober drivers. That's why I tend not to bring up that evidence. What's the name of the 2003s? Thing you were talking about. It's also online, it's referenced in your material, State of Knowledge of Drug Impaired Driving, put up by the DOT and NHTSA in 2003. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, mention that uh, as for the last thing that you were talking about, where they're saying about the difference in the potency of the marijuana now, Reese Jones, who is no friend to marijuana, did a study that he showed that when people smoke, smoke strong to marijuana, they intuitively change the way they smoke to reduce the amount of THC that they take right. in. Yeah, they titrate it differently, and that when people use lower uh, potency, that they tend to maximize the amount that they can get out of, out of it. So bring up Reese Jones, whatever that comes up. It's, it's beer versus scotch. One right. more question. <laughs> drink scotch, Do you drink this. Do extra witness in cases uh, under what sort of terms? Uh, I have been <laughs> consulting attorneys uh, probably the last two to three years now with some regularity on this. Uh, several of them have asked me if I'd be interested in coming in as an expert witness. A couple times, depending on the case, I've said yes. None of those cases have ever gone to trial. It tends to be, the state tends to fold when the defense is bringing their witnesses and they think, oh Christ, we've got to bring in witnesses too. Let's just make this all go away. Uh, so it's certainly something I'd be interested in doing and the times I've agreed to do it, the cases have never gone to court. They've all been settled beforehand.